I'm going to work out again. I'm okay. Is that a hell of a nap? Oh, shit. Those are the best. Maybe I need one of those. Yeah, I got to get me one of those, too. What? The thing is, is like, I nap. feel like if I nap... I'm trying to Hopefully find out why I don't let anybody go up there without the key. Because it was late to, to let me know. Or five, wasn't it? And then no, I felt like I just, like, them? Right. The eyes and the, I opened got back to me. Me and Dan just finished an intense game of chess I tried. To sleep mm -hmm. that was rudely interrupted multiple times yeah. by production. Do not play chess. Ever. Oh, God. I slept so hard. Wow. That's the best, just coma sleep. You wake up and you thought you'd been asleep for five minutes. Huh? The best sleep is when you when you wake up and you only thought you were asleep for a little bit. I'm gonna, I got rather deep into it this time. Jerry, now that you're retired, how how early do you go to sleep when you're when you're home? I don't. Uh, you don't have a certain time you just go to bed whenever, huh? Nah, I, it's, I fall asleep a lot watching TV. Yep. Wake up about two in the morning. And then, uh, I'll go in on the computer once in a while and clean out my emails and yep. stuff like that. Yep. I'll go back in and I might make a slice of peanut butter bread or something and go in and play a little solitaire on the computer <laughs> and then go solitaire back, back in, try to go to sleep. I don't turn on the TV <laughs> 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'm still awake. My wife's probably getting out go back to sleep. You know, yeah. Retired life sounds no, like. Well, there's certain times, on certain days, like I play golf at 8, 10, Monday, Wednesday, and uh, Thursday. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I like to work out. Thursday afternoon, after I play golf, I go to the VFW. What do you yeah. do there? Play poker and drink beer. Then I stop at the bar called Cheers and see my friend Larry. Well, it's Ladies' Day at Cheers. And then I go over to the B and H, another little place on the way home. Then I about eight or nine o'clock at night, I pick up about two pounds of crawfish. And I go home and sit there and watch TV and eat those and have another beer. And Thursday my beer day. That's the only day I drink beer. I drink beer at home. And the other time. And, uh, so you're driving around with one beer in hand, or no, no, I don't care. And Saturday, I don't. For some reason, I can drink eight, ten hours like that with beer. I just spread it out so much, you know. But I don't bother. But I don't drink. I never had a DWI. I never will get one. Right. Uh, and Saturday or Sunday, I'll cut grass. It takes me anywhere from three hours when I don't have to trim an edge and do all this stuff to five or six hours if I do. Yeah. And then if I have projects around the house, sprinkler heads busted, or I got to pick up and burn stuff, and whatever I do, I spend Saturday doing that. I don't have any dull time in my life. I mean, it's amazing, but I just don't. It's so damn busy. <laughs> I had a 24 by 24 foot shop. It's loaded with everything you got imagined in it, saws, and the truck is out there, and uh, a ride along or a golf cart. A uh, couple wheelbarrows, a blower, an edger, a trimmer, uh, a hedge trimmer, uh, all kind of shelves along the side with stuff that I've accumulated over the years, you know. And this, while I was waiting after applying at Big Brother 9, I had a uh, area up over my garage it's called like a bonus room if you want to finish it off. And I had it studded out. I uh, insulated it, drywalled it, uh, muttered it, painted it, trimmed it. You know? <laughs> what?